What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Today we're getting down and dirty polishing some wheels. I made a video polishing some Alcoa Super Singles a couple years ago now and I wanted to kind of revisit this and we're going to do it on a set of dually wheels for the first gen Dodge which is sitting outside right now. Let's get started with what we're going to use to polish these things and I'll show you how we got them. So this is going to be one of the rear outers. This is the other side rear outer. I've already got this one cleaned up ready to polish. These are going to be the two fronts and you can see these were probably ran as fronts before because this is super dirty here and then the other side looks pretty clean. So what I'm going to do with the fronts is just clean the inside. I'm not going to polish it. And then we will polish this face and that one obviously. And then that's gonna be a rear inner and this is a rear inner as well. So the inner, I'm just gonna kinda of leave brushed like this as long as it's clean. I'll probably throw a little bit of a polish on this but there's gonna be another wheel right here. So you're really not gonna see this, especially with the tires I'm running. In case you guys wanna see that, I'll give you a sneak peek running 35 inch boggers on 22 inch Alcoas. Anyway, let's get into this. So I've got this laid out kind of like heavy cut over here and then finishing over here. So this wheel, which I've started with um, on the inside of the rears. By the way, this is all this is a very products heavy cut that we are they call looking it a at satin today. airway. Some people this have one different opinions on less heavy products, than this. But I've used these before. So and this is like good. basically like a Scotch Brite pad. I mean, th this is kind of similar, like a Scotch Brite pad here, and then this one is like really stiff, and this thing will eat just all the dirt and road grime and all that stuff off of there. But you are going to have to do some sanding after this if you want to polish that surface because this is very rough. If you need to clean up a wheel, you could use this, what they call a satin airway. So let me show you what we use the satin airway for. A wheel that looks like this, I'll use the satin airway. I'm gonna come in here, probably clean it with some alcohol or brake clean or some kind of soap uh, that'll break down some, some of the grease and grime and then we can use the satin airway and that's gonna make a wheel that looks like this, it'll make it look like this. So there is some like leftover residue and whatever. I'm gonna try to clean that off, um, but we will be able to polish this how it sits with, with the heavy cutting airway. So they call this the quick cut. I believe there's like a yellow piece in here, yeah. So we use the orange buffing wheel with the orange compound. We use the green buffing wheel, and I believe they call this a coloring wheel, with the green compound. And then we'll finish with this show and shine airway, which is blue, and then we'll use the blue compound on that. So you have to have a rake. You can get this online uh, with all this stuff, and that will clean out your pad um, and just freshen it up kind of fluff it up a little bit before you hit the wheel. What I'll do is show you with the uh, satin airway, which is that, on this wheel, and then I'll show you this at some point on the inner of the fronts, and that will just basically clean everything up, and then we'll get into polishing. If you are polishing, you absolutely need some kind of respirator or mask. I made this mistake last time and did not use a respirator or a mask and it is some dirty work, let me tell you. You'll be blowing your nose with just aluminum dust and all kinds of crap coming out for weeks. Um, it makes your throat hurt. It's just all around not good for you. So do not breathe this stuff in because it is not good. Ready to go. No more. You can speed it up a little bit, but this thing will start to eat into the aluminum wheel if you go any further than that. All right, I used the satin airway on the inside of this wheel and the inside of this wheel. Now 
now you can see a little bit of kind of imperfection right there. So if you do not remove that, you will see it when you polish this wheel. I will say it's 100% worth spending the 40 bucks on one of these uh, respirator things. This is the second front. I just finished the first one with the orange wheel, which is the heavy cutting. So what I did on that one, I'm going to repeat on this. I've got one of these sanding discs. Well, it's kind of like a hook and loop. It's got Velcro on it. And then I've got a pad in between. And I've got a thousand grit sandpaper. And that I can put on the grinder and just run at really low speeds and sand all these imperfections out here and in here. I've got this spacer on here and it's kind of like just an arbor extension, but it is super helpful when running these polishing wheels. It is very convenient to run these so your pad isn't right here next to the grinder, if that makes sense. Once you use the thousand grit, it should look something like this. Pretty good sanding marks, but it is pretty shiny and just completely clean. So now we're going to use the satin airway, which is basically just scotch bright on the buffing wheel. We're going to run that at around a thousand RPMs and make sure all of these scratch marks kind of go in a circle pattern around the wheel. And this should be a little bit finer than 1000 grit. So this should take out the thousand grit scratches. And then after that, we'll be ready to hit it with the orange polishing wheel, which will look like that. All right, this wheel is ready to polish. One thing I wanna mention is, you basically wanna get this wheel looking completely uh, uniform around it. So if there's any like darker areas or lighter areas, that means it's either sanded, you know, more than the rest of it or less than the rest of it. So you want everything to look the same before you move on to polishing. All right, I got the orange wheel on there. I want to give you guys a quick rundown on exactly how to do this. And then uh, I'm going to run it on the wheel and you can follow along and then we'll change it over to the green wheel with the green compound and then blue after that and these should be shining like a new penny. So when you get this thing on there, you want to hold the rake with your handle like this and just kind of feather the trigger so this thing doesn't go crazy, all right? so. That's a very easy way to do it. That's all you need to do. And you're gonna wanna do that every time before you put this on there. So just hold this kind of at an angle. If you hold it like this, it's gonna shoot out of your hand and uh, it can throw it pretty hard. So it can get kind of scary. So just make sure you kind of... That's all you need. You'll, you might need to do that a couple times while you're polishing the wheel. You'll kind of get the feel for it because when you're running this polisher at first, it'll look really shiny. And then maybe you do half of it and it starts to look dull while you're using this. So that just means you need to do that again and get some more compound on it. One little tip that I want to show you guys that I've learned is follow this arrow on your buffer or just the, the direction this thing spins. So it's spinning this way and you want to basically hold when you're going around a wheel like this, or when you're going around a hole like this, you want this to be spinning away so it doesn't catch this edge here. If you try to polish right here, it's gonna catch that edge and throw the grinder. You can hold it, and I've seen people do it, but since this wheel, you can flip it around either this way or this way, 
So I'm gonna polish right here, right here, right here, and then I'll flip around and I'll go this side, this side, this side, and then you'll never have any problems. Let me show you how this thing can throw the grinder just so you guys can see. It is kind of sketchy. Watch here. See, it kind of... That's what you want to avoid. Any hard corners that this thing can catch on and you want this thing ramped all the way up to six or however fast you can get it. So let's polish this thing. Guys, slight change in plans with the wheels and tires. We're still doing the polishing and we are gonna finish that process. But I had the chance to get the tires mounted and balanced uh, the other day, right after I finished the orange wheel and the green wheel. So I don't think I filmed the green wheel because I was trying to get it done, but you're gonna run the green wheel at the same speed as the orange as high as your buffer will go i think mine is 3500 rpms you could also run it on a 6000 rpm buffer or grinder and that's going to work a little bit better but we ran both of those and i got the wheels and tires mounted so this is a little sneak peek of what is to come for the first gen dodge i did not mean for this to happen at all but we got them back and now we can do the final steps of polishing which shouldn't be too bad with the wheels and tires mounted because we still have full access to everything that I want to polish. It's just kind of annoying to move these things around. So next we will be using the blue Airway Show and Shine or Show Shine it looks like it, it's called. And then we'll use the blue compound. So that will be ran at around 2000 or 2500 RPMs. show you running the blue pad on the whole thing. But this is kind of what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have a little bit of, let's see if the camera will focus, there we go. It's gonna look black a little bit and that is from the compound kind of wearing off. So we need to wipe that off and the best way to wipe that off is with lacquer thinner and a cotton cloth or a microfiber and you just want to barely touch the wheel when you do that and i've used brake clean as well um, and it seems to work just fine there's probably people that are going to say that it might take the shine off of your wheels or something like that the very last step is going to be a very quick hand polish on everything and that will bring all the shine back to life and then they'll be ready to go on the truck.